Hi everyone! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Danielle Polk and I'm a literacy coach. Today's tutorial is going to be so much fun and I'm so excited to share with you fun ways to build your virtual classroom using Google Slides and your Bitmoji avatar. If you're unfamiliar with Bitmoji, go ahead and download the app on your phone and get ready for a life-changing experience. Uh, your Bitmoji is a really cool avatar that you can customize to look like you. Uh, when we add the Google Chrome extension for Bitmoji, we can sync our Bitmoji app to our computer, and use our Bitmojis in our Gmail, and most importantly, add them to our Google Docs and our Google Slides. So go ahead and download the app, but if you haven't done that yet, we can still build our virtual classroom. To do this, I'm going to open up a new tab and create a new slideshow for my classroom. I'm going to type in deck.new into my search tab. It's a little shortcut instead of going into your waffle and typing in a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to X out of my themes so that I have more room to work. And then I'm going to delete these text boxes by taking my cursor and sliding it over the boxes to highlight them. And then I'm going to press delete. Now I'm ready to change my background. So to do that, I'm going to go over to change backgrounds and I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to do a Google image search and I'm going to type in lawn floor. This will open up several different blank scenes and I'm going to select a floor and wall that appeals to me. Okay, I like this one. So I'm going to use this one and then select insert. And then I'm gonna press done. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to save my presentation and I'm going to call it virtual classroom template. This way, when I want to make more classrooms, I don't have to recreate everything from scratch. I have it saved and I can make a copy. So now what I wanna do is start layering my images and building my dream classroom. So I'm going to do this by selecting insert image. I'm going to search the web and a search bar will show up here. Very important, whenever you're adding an image into your virtual classroom, you wanna type in the word transparent first. This will allow you to layer images over one another. So I'm going to add a transparent whiteboard so that I can create a message or add images, or just add more realistic features. I like this one, I use it a lot. So I'm going to select it and then press insert. It's going to create the image. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of room here. Now, it doesn't seem like a big deal now, but it will later whenever we add in a lot more things. So I'm going to crop the image. You'll see these black bars show up and I'm going to just size my image so that there's not a lot of extraneous room. Because once we get into adding a lot of images and a lot of things, the room gets cluttered and we don't want to have any mess ups. So I'm going to just size this. I can just drag and position my board where I want it to go. And then I can begin adding more things. You can build your dream classroom. You can add in anything you want by searching the web and keeping the word transparent. So I'm going to add a desk. I'm going to select a desk that I think looks good in this room. I like this one. I'm going to select insert. And I'm just going to again position it and move it to a spot where I think it would look good. And we can just keep doing this forever. Um, you can make your classroom as personal as you would like. And you can layer images over one another and just keep inserting our images. Really, the basics of building your virtual classrooms involves layering objects over one another. So keep in mind that it's important to have that transparent and then whatever detail you wanna add. So if you wanna have a transparent candle and layer a candle in your classroom, which is normally against code, but hey, this is a virtual environment, so all bets are off. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. I want to add a window with a view. So I inserted my view, and now I'm gonna layer it over my window. But you can see that once I have the, the view, the, the window is then hidden. 
So I'm going to size it so that it's in appropriate position again. And now I'm going to right click on that view and I'm going to go down to order and I'm going to send it to the back. Now I have my view. I can also copy and paste th this image by selecting Control C and Control V and dragging it to the other side of my room for balance. And then I can move this out of the way. I can do the, the window by selecting Control V, Control C. And I'm going to layer this. Now I'm going to bring my, my laptop forward. So again, I'm going to do order, and then I'm going to say bring to front. Okay, and I can move my window back. Okay, so now we have our basic classroom. We can add our avatars. So I'm going to go to my toolbar and select Bitmoji. And you'll see that you have a whole array of avatars to choose from. Okay, so you can type in anything that you want. You can keep looking around. Not every avatar is suitable for work or school setting, but we can work with what we have. So I'm going to select my image that I like. I'm going to right click on it and do copy image. And now I'm going to paste it, right click and paste. And there she is. She means business. Okay. Now again, I don't want this disco ball here because it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to select crop image and I can just move this on out of here. Okay. Now you can still see some of our disco ball here. So what we can do is download our image by right clicking on it. I'm going to save the image. It's downloaded here as a PNG file. And then I'm going to go to this website called Remove BG. This will remove any extra backgrounds or any extra things that you don't want in your image. So I'm just going to drag that file and drop it into the, to the background. So there's some basic editing features. Okay. And we can erase it. I want to erase my disco ball. We can change our brush size to do that. And now we have a nice clear image. And press download, download the image, and say disco. Now it's here. Go back into our template and delete her. And now I'm going to add an image by uploading from my computer. And there she is. So I'm going to select her and then click open. And there we, have, there we go. So a nice clean Bitmoji. And she's ready to party. So we can also add in a text box. And make a nice little welcome message. I'm going to pick one that looks like handwriting. I like Hanley. I'm going to pick my favorite color. And I'm going to write welcome to Mrs. Polk's classroom. So now that she is saved, we have our basic classroom. And in our next tutorial, we are going to add hyperlinks into our classroom to make it more interactive. I hope you have so much fun creating your virtual classrooms. Make them seasonal, decorate them, add all of the details that you always wanted to create in your real classroom. Let me know how yours come out. Send me a picture to dpolk at carneyschools.com or leave me a comment in the box below and let me know how you're using your virtual classrooms.